Today's main word is dehydration. <laughs> <laughs> my vlogs aren't just for me to spread awareness it's also you guys spreading awareness with your comments and your positivity good morning everybody so today is another day a new day the next day and i see all your comments you guys are being supportive about lupus but like i said in yesterday's vlog my rheumatologist didn't really think I have lupus he's just like he's all thinking it's GI issues which is pretty good and like I said when he did his physical on me he's just like since you're taking prednisone it has a lot of side effects this could be causing a lot of issues so who knows but I did talk to Jackie and Jackie was so happy that he didn't blow me off and was just like this is just GI issues we don't need to proceed with anything and he just did proceed with taking me serious and taking the test and still crossing that out and was like, let's do a lupus blood work on you and let's get this out of the way and cross this out. So that is fabulous and phenomenal. Cause you know, some doctors will just be like, it's GI issues. Oh, Ryan, it is just GI issues. Don't worry about it. You know, we're done with this. So it's great that he is taking me serious. And as chronic illness warriors, we all know that it is nerve-wracking going to see a new doctor and feeling like they're not going to take us serious or take our other chronic illnesses serious and just kind of disregard us. So that's always my worry whenever I see a new doctor. I'm just like, take me serious. Don't just, you know, brush me to the side or make me feel less of a person. But he was fabulous and I loved him. <coughs> but... For today's adventure, more work, more blood work. And I didn't say how yesterday's blood work went for the Prometheus test. I was very nervous because like I said, being eight days in the hospital and nonstop blood work, you know, it did destroy my veins and I have bad veins. Um, yesterday was great. You know, they did take out blood and I will show you my vein. I don't know if you can see it. They bruised it a little bit more. But I didn't feel it that bad. I was like, hey. And the nurse was like, did I restore your faith? And I was like, you actually did. Thank you so much. But today is now time to go do the lupus blood work. And I'm a little nervous. You know, you're always going to be nervous because you got poked so much. <coughs> so now I got to go do that. And I know you're thinking, are you done? Is there any more tests? No, the rheumatologist did want to do x-rays of all my joints. And then we still haven't done the CT scan with contrast of my abdominal area. So we have to do that as well. So we have to schedule still a bunch of stuff. So, so these stairs are going to be a death trap for me. It's a little hard to walk down and I am shaking a lot more. <laughs> And I notice your comments. You guys are still concerned about this cough. Don't don't worry. We are taking care of it. I am taking cough medication. I am taking all my inhalers. And it's just this cough is persistent. And I'm, some of you guys are new or just keep asking. Like I said, I went to my pulmonologist. He believes this is asthma. We will be going back to see him once all my medication is done. And do the PFT test and see what is going on with this. But it is very persistent, so. <coughs> Well, Paul made me a delicious smoothie. I'm drinking it little by little, so that's good. Better than nothing. <coughs> well, we tried to do these labs, and what happened again, Paul? Fail! So, we went to this lab that this um, the doctor's office sent us to. They're like, this is a local one in your area that can draw this blood for this special blood test. We for went lupus. There. Yes, we went there. And one of them is like a very basic blood test and they don't do it there. So they said just go to your, like your Quest or LabCorp or whatever. So Janice is going to go do that. But then the special blood test. It's an Avise test. That's the company. And they're like, we don't have their kits to do the blood drug. Because it has to be, you know, frozen, you know, a little ice pack and styrofoam and mailed out overnight. Similar to the Prometheus test. And they don't have the kits to do it. So we're just like... So what, what, what do we do? They're like, well, we're, we're going to receive them Monday or Tuesday, call ahead and let us know, 
or you can go to another lab like Vista Clinical, stuff like that, but the closest one is like 45 minutes away from us. So it's kind of like... So me and my brother are going on a mission just to get my blood drawn. So today's going to be fun. That's all I'm doing is getting my blood drawn at two different locations, which we don't have appointments, but we're it's going to be a waiting game and we have to do this. We don't have to do it today, but the I need the to. Better. Yeah, the sooner the better. Quicker results. Let's get it done. <coughs> so my brother's taking me out on my Yay. adventure today. I'm very happy. And I'm glad to do it, you know? Yes, that is what family is for. Mm -hmm. So like I said, I have a lot of blood work. And sadly, we didn't set up appointments, so we may be waiting in the waiting room for quite a while. We are walk-ins, and that's okay more bonding time and I'm happy he's here because he is helping me a lot with these appointments Paul had to go to work so this is fine but we are nervous for this lupus test because like I said we have to probably drive a whole hour away to get it done but we are gonna make a call and make sure they do have the test on hand and let's see what we could get done today like I said, it was gonna be a long wait, but we're okay with waiting because we have to go to the other blood lab, which is an hour away, and they are not open. They are closed for lunch, so. Right, bruh, bruh? Mm-hmm, that's right. So we'll wait for you. And Orion is doing fabulous and amazing while waiting as well. Doing a great under and not being distracted at all. And he's with us on this adventure too. Now this <coughs> this blood draw was actually really difficult. He stuck me a couple times and he was just like, your veins are really bad. And I was like, yes I know. And he's like, you're very dehydrated. And I was like, I know. I'm trying. I'm really trying. And you know, he did different methods to try to get blood out of me. And I was just like, just try not to make it hurt. It did hurt. What can I do? But I stuck with it. I was like, <laughs> ah, no. But now we're going to another lab to Continue do the lupus job. test. This lab was super understanding. They were like, we only do it from 7 a.m. to 12. And I was just like, make an exception. <laughs> and we're actually going to be there by like 140, 150. And she's like, for you, I'll make an exception. And I was like, thank you. Yes, because I need to get these blood tests out of the way. But don't get me wrong, she may look at my veins and be like, You ain't got nothing left. We're both uh -huh. videotaping. I don't know why. What are you videotaping for? Because I like it. Oh, okay. We're both. We both like I do it, it for fun. I do it. I do it for fun too. Well, we're in the same way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> He's going to be doing it for Spanish. I guess I'll be doing it for English. Uh -huh. <laughs> but let's see what she can do with these veins. I have faith in this woman. She's doing me a favor. I'll do her a favor by drinking my smoothie and getting hydrated. Let's see what we can do. So we were successful. We got my last blood work test done and it was for lupus. And I'm very proud. It, the band-aid matches my shirt. And this blood work they were just like your veins your veins as well but she used a different method the first time i did it today they were just flicking my veins like Ugh! and it actually hurt this time they used heat which was really nice i was like Ugh. she's like you're ice cold you're dehydrated today's main word is dehydration and she's just like oh this is gonna be hard and but we were able to do it we were just there the blood was just drip trip trip but she's just like I'll take anything to get this done and I was like yes honestly half of me was like maybe they're just gonna send me home and just like come back tomorrow and I'm like no because this is an hour away so no tomorrow but we were able to get everything done I'm super proud and that means getting everything done quicker getting results quicker so oh, I'm happy aren't you happy yes <laughs> So, yes. So we are back at home. Today was a day. <coughs> a very fun day, but at least I got everything done and I'm happy. I want to 
end this vlog a little bit differently and talk about your comments and how phenomenal they are and amazing and how I think they're pretty much bringing awareness. You guys are gaining so many likes with these comments. Even Orion's impressed with them, right buddy? Good boy. In yesterday's vlog, I decided to say that somebody was saying how I loved being sick and how, you know, I just love being diagnosed. And you guys had decided to add your own comments and these comments are gaining so many likes, up to 20, up to 40, and I want to add it. So, this subscriber said, some people will never understand that we don't want to be sick. We are sick. What we want is to know what is making us sick. When we know what is making us sick, then we can hopefully treat it. Yes! And then some of you guys are like, yes, preach! And that one got 21 likes. And then there's another comment here. I hate when people say stuff like you mentioned in the intro. A diagnosis means answers. Yes. It means you're not always wondering what is wrong. It's a good thing. This one got 40 likes. That is just fabulous. My vlogs aren't just for me to spread awareness. It's also you guys spreading awareness with your comments and your positivity. And that's what I want. And then you guys talking amongst yourselves and then just being positive and supporting each other. And with this one comment, you guys, with this one person and subscriber, you guys were talking so beautifully, supporting each other, and I loved it. When will people ever stop crucifying those with illnesses, especially invisible ones? Ugh. My ANA will, has been positive, but I can't afford the test they require to determine RA and lupus. If I had to guess, I would say it's probably Crohn's. I feel ya. My IVs and blood draws, I have poop veins. I feel ya. Today has been awful. <laughs> I've been told this whole entire day my veins are poop. But with this subscriber, Everybody has been supportive of her, commenting to her, and just lifting up her spirits, and I love that. And that's what I want with my channel, and I, that's what I want with my comments, you know, su supporting each other, and just being positive with one another, and that is fabulous. Hey guys, so today was very, Hi. oh my goodness, <laughs> today was very productive, and I'm on the phone with Jackie, and she just decided to scream out, hi, but... What are we going to do about that? But guys, this is where I end it and say adieu and good night. And tomorrow is going to be another adventure. So stay tuned. So adieu and good night. Let's see. Let's get her over here. Say it again. Adieu and good night. Good night, guys. Bye.